You want to come after me, you come after me, but leave my family alone. But leave my family alone. The suggestion that Minister Shanmugam's son or his company Live Space was appointed, and I think the sting of these allegations is that there's a preference given to this, is completely scurrilous and unwarranted. There is no basis to suggest it for both 26 and 31. The works that were recommended by the consultant was then done and awarded to a contractor through a tender. And Live Space was not an appointed contractor. Neither did they have any transactions with SLA, as far as we can tell from the quick checks that we've done since these allegations began to surface online. There were and are many untruths circulated about me, my rentals. Inevitable because I'm a political figure and obviously a target. For example, the falsehood that SLA had built a car porch for me or that I had cut down trees illegally or that I'm paying less than market value or the innuendos, some of which we heard in Parliament about land being added as if it's a special favour, even though I didn't... The facts show that I didn't want it. And I explain why. It's a cost centre. The CPIB has established these and other allegations to be untrue. But I've not been the only one attacked. My son has also been attacked. Allegations online that the contract to renovate the Ridout properties, in plural, was awarded by SLA to a company where my son is the CEO. I don't keep track of SLA's contracts. There are established processes for the awarding of contracts by statutory boards. My son tells me that his company does not have any contracts with SLA, nor did they do any work on the Ridout properties for SLA. You get these utterly false and defamatory statements. Do these people really believe that CPIB would not have found this out if it were true? I say to these people, you want to come after me, you come after me. I'm perfectly capable of defending myself and they will find out that I will defend myself. But leave my family alone. This is how some conduct politics. Try and make it difficult or impossible for family members or people who are prepared to come into public service by putting out deliberately false information. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker.